Just stopped at the bank and got some pennies. Let's open them up and see if they're circulated. I sure hope so, because I haven't done some pennies in a while. All right, here we go. Come on, circulated. Oh yeah, we're circulated. We're gonna check for enders and we'll get into it. All right, I got my first find after just a few rolls. Uh, that's how much copper I've pulled out so far. So I thought I found a clipped planchet right here, but it ends up being just some damage. But I did find a penny with the word trust half there. So you can see right here, that's a strike through grease error. Uh, the R's really hard to see as well, but the UST, they're almost all gone. All right, we got our first weedy of the box right there. Nice little weedy. Let's see what we got here. So the backside looks pretty good. A little bit of wear, I would say 40s or 50s. Let's flip it. And it's a 1956 Philadelphia, pretty good shape. All right, weedy number two right there. This is how much copper we have so far. Let's see what we got. There's a few coppers in here. All right, looks pretty good. Let's see, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. 1951 Denver, I'm gonna put it under the scope real quick. No repunched mint marks or die chips, so we'll set it aside and we'll keep on going. All right, we got another weedy. It's hiding right here behind this penny. I actually saw the date already. I'm gonna pull it back. And it's a 1956. It looks like it's probably a Denver. If I had to guess, I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. Yep, that's a 1956 Denver. Just got my first Canadian out of a roll. Let's see what we got here. All right, let's flip it. I flipped that wrong, of course. 1969. 1969, that's funny because uh, I actually found a, another 1969, but it's beautiful. But this is not a, a Canadian. But look at that, nice condition there, except for the right there on the end of In God We Trust. Beautiful little coin. All right, guys, I just found a zinger of a wheat penny. Look at this right there. This thing looks pretty awesome. It's got lots and lots of luster. Uh, I have not looked at a date yet. Let's take a look here. Look at that. So I've been finding a few like these, like this one here. I got that 1969, and I had a 1970S that was in the same condition. I accidentally threw it back in the box. This is awesome. All right, let's find out what we got. Hopefully it's an older one, but my suspicion is that it's probably in the 50s. Let's take a look. Three, two, one. Nah, 1957. Oh! Oh, I thought I saw, I thought I might have saw some die clashing there, but it looks like it must, it's probably fingerprints or something on there. It looked like I saw some of the, uh, the, the reverse on the, on the front. 1957D, I'm going to check it for repunched mint marks and die chips, and uh, I'll let you know. All right, we got another weedy, and it's way in the back, way back here. I'm going to pull it forward and give you guys a sneak peek. All right. Everything's been in the 50s, and I'm going to say this is probably going to be 50s as well. It looks like it's pr pretty good shape. Let's flip it. Oh, man, another 50. Is that a 56? I believe that's a 1956 Denver. All right, guys. I'm not even joking. Look what I found right there. Look at this, another really super shiny wheat penny, and you are not going to believe this. Uh, look at, boy, that's kind of corroded there on the back. It's got some stuff on it. I don't know what that is, but it's in crazy condition like that other one, except for that big blob of stuff right there. And look, it's a 1957 Denver, just like the other one. They were both 1957 let me see if I can find it. There it is. Look at that. Two 
Maybe somebody dumped a roll, but I don't know. That's crazy that they're both 1957D, but this one is just junked. All right, we got one way over here. I'm going to go ahead and pull this one out and see what we got here. All right. Looks pretty circulated, but not too circulated. I'm guessing 50s again. 1958. Looks like a Denver. 1958 Denver. All right, I got a couple things in this roll. I got a weedy right there. And I got another really beautiful, let's see, what is that? A 1973 in beautiful condition. So let's see what this weedy is. Can we get out of the 50s, please? All right, let's flip it over. Three, two, one. Oh, dear. What is that? Is that? Cannot get out of the 50s. 1950, exactly. 1950D. Pretty decent shape. I'll add it to the others. I got one more roll over here, and then we're going to do a wrap-up. Well, guys, that's the end of the box. We didn't do too bad. Uh, not a ton of copper. Look at that. That's all copper right there. Wasn't a ton in this box, but we did end up with eight Wheaties. Everything was in the 50s, including these that were just in... This one was just in amazing shape. Look at that. Beautiful shape there. Let's see if I can get a little closer. There we go. And then we had the other one, but it had some stuff on it. Just a bunch of junk on top of it, unfortunately. Uh, I did have that uh, strike through grease. It could possibly be just a really weak strike. Uh, and then we had all of these up here. These were just like really good examples. We had the 73D, 61D, 74D. 6090 and we had a 70s and i accidentally put it back in the box and i'm not going to go back through to find it and we had one canadian so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button we'll see you next time as always happy hunting